Good evening YouTube and welcome back to my channel. For tonight's video I'm going to be teaching you guys 10 advanced tricks that you can learn on your mountain bike to take your riding to the next level. Let's take a look at the first one. The first trick we're going to look at is the bunny hop. It's a slightly more simple trick but having this dialed really helps you to learn other difficult tricks. For the bunny hop you need to be able to lift your front wheel and your rear wheel up separately. Once you can do both of those it's a case of combining the two together. As you lift your front wheel off the ground curl your toes and push them back into the pedals at the same time transfer your weight forward and lift the bike up this creates a scoop which helps to get the bike off the ground all you have to do to gain more height is do this more aggressively and lift the bike up in between your legs a really 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 good way to practice dialing this in is to try and clear a gap like a car park space you can jump onto an object or even over an object Trick number two is foot jam hops. This is a trick that has come from BMXing. However, loads of guys are doing it on mountain bikes and it is really simple to learn. What you need to do is roll along nice and slow with one leg hanging off. Then jam your foot in the front wheel whilst leaning forwards. What I do is I curl my toes up to stop your foot getting hurt and then you place your foot behind the crown and on top of the tire. Once you're more comfortable with this, you can start trying to add some hops in. The secret to getting the hop styled is to lean forward. The balancing point is really far forward. Just trial and error. Get out there, practice, give it a go. Eventually you'll be able to hop forwards, backwards, side to side, in circles, wherever you want. Let's take a look at trick number three. Trick number three, the bunny hop 180. This is one of my personal favorite tricks. I do it all the time. What you need to do is have the bunny hop dialed. Once you've got that dialed, ride along at medium pace, lift your front wheel up, but at the same time start turning. When you hop, twist your hips and your head to face backwards, land backwards, pull the brake, turn your body the same as you did at the first part to face forwards again and ride off the champion. Small tip for you, when you land backwards, land with the wheel facing the opposite direction. What this does is it will start turning the bike automatically using the bike's own momentum. Work smart, not hard. All you have to do at that point is pull the brake and turn around. It's way less effort for you because the bike is doing all the work. Trick number four, the bar spin. This is such a sick trick. Everyone wants to learn to bar spin. The most simple way to do it is stand your bike on the rear wheel like this, and then you're gonna get familiar with the process of throwing the bars around by just doing it like this. It's nice and safe. It's really important that when you do the bar spin, you relax and take your time. The best technique to learn is find what way you feel comfortable throwing it, take the opposite hand off and put it by the side, push the handlebar around, keeping your hand on it, and roll it with your wrist. This hand's then ready to catch the handlebar, and then pull it straight again. What people tend to do and what is natural for your body to want to do is to just get the bar spin done and you end up twisting like this, letting go and what happens is you do that and then you're nowhere to catch it and you lose control. Try to avoid that, nice and relaxed, just pass it around like that. Have that hand ready waiting to collect the bars. The next stage to learning a bar spin is to do a manual bar spin. You need to be able to lift the front wheel like you do in a bunny hop when you do that, clamp your knees on the seat as this will stop you flying off the back of the bike. Throw the handlebars using the technique that we just learned on the rear wheel. The final stage, the most impressive stage with a bar spin is a bunny hop bar spin. Cruise along at a medium speed, do a bunny hop really high as the bike levels out, clamp your knees, spin the handlebars using the technique that you've learned and practiced in the last two steps, absorb your landing. The thing with doing a hop bar spin is to relax. You, you might feel that you want to throw the bars as soon as you do the bunny hop. Wait till you've leveled out, get your weight back, take your time. It makes the bar spin so much easier. Get out there, practice it because it's so worth it. Trick number five, the wall ride. Once again, using the bunny hop, that's why we learned it at the beginning because it's so important when learning all these advanced tricks. The technique to a successful wall ride is the angle that you hit the wall at. Imagine the wall is a clock face, the wall's 12 o'clock. Depending on what way you hit the wall from, you want to approach it from either 10 o'clock or two o'clock. As you get to it, big bunny hop, tilt the bike, push the bike really hard into it, feel the grip, ride along, lift the front wheel off and exit the wall ride. And what I like to do when I'm doing it is just imagine that I'm riding a berm or a quarter pipe um, just without a curve onto it. You have to make that curve with the bunny hop. Trick number six, the foot jam tail whip. I absolutely love this trick and the best thing about it, it's quite simple to learn and it's not that dangerous. What you need to do is cruise along at a medium speed like when you was learning the foot jam, but this time put your leg over the other side of the frame. Jam your foot in the front wheel, lean forward. As you do this, kick the bike around. Be careful how far you lean forward because the bike's the other way, the back wheel might hit the ground. When it's spinning, keep your eyes on the pedals. As it comes round, collect the bike up, put your feet on the pedals and ride off into the sunset. 
The more difficult version of a foot jam tail whip, which is quite a bit more difficult, takes a lot more practice, is to hop into it. So cruise along again, medium speed, pop a little nose manual. As you do that, kick the bike around. Once the bike's out of the way, this will allow you to perform the foot jam. So stick your foot in the front wheel, keep your eye on the pedals as the bike's going around. When it's next to you, jump to the pedals and land the trick. Trick number seven is the bunny hop to manual. Once again, combining the bunny hop and this time the manual, which if you can't do already, you can learn by clicking right here. Find yourself a nice low object to start with, cruise along at quite a fast pace. And then when you get to the object, bunny hop, keep all your weight back so you bum over the rear axle, finger covering the brake, land in manual, control the manual, then you can just go for as long as you want, wherever you want. If you're feeling extra fancy or feeling like sending it, you can end the bunny hop to manual with either a bar spin or a 180. Let's take a look at the next trick. Trick number eight, the 360 foot jam. It looks technical, it looks epic, it is really impressive. And to get things started, you need to be able to do a 180 nose manual like this. Now you've got this dialed, it's time to try it with a foot jam. Now you've got this super dialed, it's nice and easy for you, it's time to try and complete a 360 foot jam. Turn exactly the same at the start but with more momentum, aiming to keep your rear wheel higher off the ground. When you get to 180, instead of dropping the wheel, you're going to hop like you do a foot jam hop and then from your hips and your shoulders, twist really hard and aim to complete a 360 and face forwards again. Trick number nine, this is the full cab. It looks very difficult, it is very difficult, but very impressive at the same time. What you need to have really dialed for this is the 180, but most importantly, the bit where you land with the wheel facing the other way, because this gives you momentum, and you need that momentum to carry on spinning after the 180. So what we're gonna to practice to start with is landing with that wheel turned, pull the rear brake, but this time lift the bike up to your chest because that also makes you spin quicker and it puts you in a good position to send the next 180. What I also like to do, and you might have noticed, is when I'm turning around, lifting the bike up, I like to do a back pedal because that puts my feet in the most powerful position to kick on them and complete the next 180. So from the beginning, cruise along medium speed because it gives you more momentum once again. Bunny hop 180, landing with that wheel turned. As you spin around, pull the brake, lift the bars into you, doing that back pedal. When you're ready, commit to the next 180, kick on the cranks to give you a little hop. Turn your body like you do in the beginning for the 180, land backwards once again, and then you can half cab out of that. Sounds confusing, but get out there and try it because it's not as difficult as it looks, and it does look very impressive, I think. Trick number 10, let's go out of a bang. It's the decade foot jam. It's difficult, it's technical. The reason for that is because you need to have the foot jam tail whip dialed and the 360 foot jam dialed, which we learned both of those earlier. You then need to combine them. However, the twist is one of those tricks needs to be opposite. Let's not overcomplicate things to start with, break it down and let's learn the 180 downside foot jam tail whip. For this trick, you want to start off exactly the same as the foot jam tail whip. So a nice slow speed and then hop onto the front wheel, kick the bike, but this time you need to spin the opposite direction as the bike. Keep an eye on the pedals as the bike's turning around. And you should then meet the bike at 180, so jump back on the pedals and fake it out. Now that we can do the half decade, it's time to commit and try the full decade. Exactly the same motions at the start, but with more force. Kick that bike harder, spin harder. When you get to 180, instead of jumping on the bike and landing backwards, you're gonna jump for those pedals, but at the same time, like the 360 foot jam, we're going to lift the bike up, twist from your hips upwards to your shoulders and your head and aim to face forward once again. This trick is difficult, it does take quite a lot of practice, but it is so worth it. On that note, that is the end of the video. I hope that you found it helpful. The tricks are very difficult, so get out there and practice them. Maybe you're good enough to already do them and you just needed the ideas and that bit of inspiration. Hopefully this video has given that to you. The best thing about all these tricks is you don't need anywhere fancy to do them. As you can see, I'm just in a car park. If you do learn them, tag me in them, please, because I'd love to see them. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Leave some comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.